not feel like recording today. I was just like, you know what? Let me just do it. Because the thing about commitment is you have to see it through. Can you repeat after me? You have to see it through. So today's video is a topic that I feel is still kind of controversial. But we're going to be talking about feminine do's and don'ts. And that's basically telling you the things that you should not be doing and the things that you should be doing as a feminine woman. And all these things are my personal doings, the things that I put into my daily routine every single day. But before we get into it, let's do our daily affirmation, which is that um, I am proud of a um, oh, child. I am proud of my growth from life's experiences. Please repeat after me. I am proud of my growth in all life's experiences. That's perfect. So this is going to be a quick one. And the feminine do's, you're going to start with them. The things that you should do as a feminine woman. Number one, it is to take care of yourself full on 10, 10 out of 10 every single day. You need to make self-care and self-love your ritual. If you do not have time in the morning to look good or to make yourself look good, you can start off by preparing at night the things that you're going to wear the next day. You can start off by getting things that are a bit more permanent like for instance nails braiding your hair for a month getting a wig things like that so you you need to definitely be taking care of yourself make sure that your skincare routine your body care routine is a routine that will actually uplift your soul so for instance I like using vanilla and cocoa butter in my shower routine so each and every single day when I use them I know that you know, I kind of smell good. I kind of feel great about myself. And then the second thing that we're going to be talking about is to wear dresses. So this is very much kind of controversial. I do not recommend you to wear dresses if you're a woman and you're going outside of the house alone, you know. Um, not because, oh, women should not know what to wear for themselves, but because it's really not safe out there. And me personally, I know that I did not feel comfortable wearing a dress in public because of the way that... People tend to look at my thighs. People tend to look at my body. Unless I am with someone who I trust. So if you're going to be wearing a dress, make sure that you're out in public with people that you trust with your entire life. Rather than wearing a dress and being out there by yourself. And God knows what the heck is happening in people's minds. So it's better to prevent and be a bit cautious than to, you know, let something happen to you. I'm not an, a rape apologist. No, I'm just, you know, this is just how I feel. So once again, this is like the things that I do and the things that I allow or put into procedure to prevent myself from any sort of danger or anything like that. The third thing that I'll be saying is feminine things to do is to learn how to communicate and to learn how to deal with your emotions. So as, as women, we have this thing whereby immediately we want to deal with something. When we hear something, we want to focus on it. Like the whole point, the entire world is on that situation. So you need to learn how to deal with the emotions this means that if you hear something that's a bit controversial allow yourself to work through it allow yourself to understand it first before reacting to it sometimes we are re we are quick to react to situations without understanding what's happening we are quick to react to things without understanding what's happening or how those things affect the people around us the fourth thing would be to learn how to um just you know be cl not classy but be classy you know so i have implemented this thing so okay she didn't put it like this i have two personalities one is like me being a gangster type vibes you know and one is very classy and feminine and laid back depending on which day you meet me so the classy one is much more of like me talking like this you know when i walk i walk with a certain energy when i talk i talk with a certain attitude you know i hold myself up in a very classy manner i'm pretty sure even if i go to like a public space or if you ask people who have been around me how does og hold herself up they be like oh og is kind of like a snob you know but no really i'm just been practicing how to be feminine but then yeah sometimes people will like make me mad and i'll you know sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas that's what i'm gonna say so you need to learn how to be a bit classy, you know, hold, hold up your posture, you know, do your nails, speak slow, things like that. 
Um, this technique is something that I learned from the whole idea that if you want to manifest your dream life, you should be able to live it as that person. And in my dream life, I am definitely a rich woman who does not crash out for nobody and who knows how to act out there. Okay. Another do is for me personally, as a woman who likes wearing sandals now, um, I have started doing my toes a lot. And so what this does is that when you have your toes and your nails matching, it automatically put, puts you in a great mood and it kind of makes you feel like you're organized with your life. So um, I used to like wear those flat, like easy dupes, sandals like that. But now I realize that those sandals are kind of ghetto, you know, so I buy myself wedges. You can get cute wedges off sheen for a very reasonable price. And other yeah, like other cute stylish sandals, but not too much not too flat okay you want to be feminine shoes like this allow you to be patient with yourself when you're doing things all right and then the feminines the feminine don't would be once again to not crash on each and every single chance that you get sometimes you have to sit down with yourself and analyze the room and see whether if this thing is working out for you or not the second thing is to not allow people to walk all over you. And it's okay to set boundaries and it's okay for you to speak out for yourself without having to minimize your beliefs or without having to crash out every single time someone says something to you. Well, I've already said that. But basically, like, have boundaries and it's okay to, like, not go with the flow each and every single time. Another thing is do not, I repeat, do not allow the people who are not, the idea of who you want to be like the people who do not inspire you to have an impact in your life not everyone deserves to have an impact in the way that you see yourself in the way that you move in the way that you do things sometimes you really need inspiration that is just like you to be surrounded by you know so if someone is not running a successful business and you want to run a successful business don't let that person close your dreams just because they are failing to do what they want to do another thing is do not um dress up to impress people like guys always dress up for yourself okay but also just dress up with caution because you know it doesn't look like the world is going to get better anytime soon but dress up for yourself and if you're comfortable and safe with the people that you're going out with please pop out like pop out like every single time i'm with people that i know that i can trust i always go all out because i know that i'm safe and yeah nothing will happen to me or so i hope so another thing would be do not um, lose focus and lose sight of what's important. Do not put other people on a pedestal as well. And this applies in like relationships because a lot of females get into relationships and then they start putting their partners on a pedestal. Do not do that, okay? Your partner should value you the same amount of times that you value them. And that is pretty much my feminine do's and don'ts for the day. I do hope that you guys like the video. Please do subscribe and share my YouTube channel with your other friends. And please go check out my other videos. It is your girl, Miss OG. And I love you so much. XOXO. Mwah.